Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are on an 8 win streak right now. That's actually just surprisingly impressive. We played Kane recently. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, you like it rough. Because that is a tainted Eden. This will probably be a loss, but actually, to be fair... Wow, this is a good start. Uh, to be fair, I'd actually probably be more... Oh my god. Do you know what? No. I don't care about that item too much. I'm just going to go and uh, get in a Mega Blast. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up accidentally careening directly into someone with Mega Blast here. Um, oh, we got two syringes already. Obviously, that won't keep spun for us, but it's rather nice. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get Mega Blast there. Uh, but yeah, I'd actually expect probably we're going to get like a game crash or something uh, along the lines here. Just because um, I imagine randomizing into a bunch of different items... Uh, as this character will probably lead to crashes, um, especially like all the different modded items. I have for now disabled my mod that um, that changes some of the drops that you can get, just because I thought with modded stuff it'll probably be better to not have that. Um, do you know what? Yeah, why not? Just so we get the next floor relatively free. As long as I don't get hit here, that would be devastating. But I don't think I've ever had an Eden start that started with Mega Blast before. Also, the Intruder too is 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 really really good. Um, so definitely not upset about that in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't know if we can get both of these in one go, so I'm just not going to try. Secret room as well is pretty obviously over the other side of this. I at least hope. Yeah. Um, do you know what? We can probably actually get a. Yeah, there you go. We'll probably actually get Steam Sale here, which is, of course, could be re-rolled, but I think right now it's a worthy purchase because it is a shop item. I think that's a very, very good idea to purchase. Second secret room is rather is, is rather obscure right here. I think I know where it is. I think it's here. I think it's the literal only place it can be. Um, <laughs> you want to eat my mega? <laughs> You're funny, game. No. Also, I've just realized we started with just absolutely horrendous fire rate. Anyways, let's grab this and uh, yeah, this is um, this Tainted Eden. He is what he is. Like, if he gets hit, we're probably going to have a not so happy time. But at the same time, he is a fun character nonetheless. Uh, what isn't dead here? This is very annoying. What isn't dead? How? How? Did you survive that long? That that was annoying. I don't even understand how... What? <laughs> how did those two enemies live that long? I was firing the Mega Brim, like, the entire time. Anyways, ooh, Wafer. Unfortunately, Wafer's another item that doesn't really work with this character, but... Eh. It is what it is. Do you know what? We should probably uh, bomb this and then go into our shop for a 7 cent item. I think getting as many items from the shop as we can is going to be a good idea. Unfortunately, this is indeed an active, which we do not want. Uh, for now, let's just grab that. Um, and grab that as well. Bedside Queen. Okay, so this is set all enemies on fire and give us fire mind. This is spawns once 12 random keys. Okay, we'll definitely just pop that then. Oh my god, Bedside Queen is insane. Um, good, good. And you know what? Let's just charge up Mega Blast again. Make sure we've got that in the bag. <laughs> okay. Who knows how long we'll get to keep Mega for? You never really know. You never really know. We're trying to use the, uh, the speed that Mega gives you to kill things here. There's some health. We'll at least check Devil Deal, I think, even with the low health. Not worth. Not worth. It has to be something a lot better than that for me to want it. Um, I think we're ready to go. Although, I will quickly check this. Ah, that's a shame. I really thought that was it. Anyways, let's get going to the next floor. Rather quick first few floors and no hits so far. So that at least puts me in a, a slightly better mood. Um, big fan is whatever. Yeah, big fan's actually okay because it could stop us from getting hit. Um... Firemine could be dangerous here, so I'm going to be careful. I just wanted to get that out of my inventory, I'll be honest. Oh, th this could be the room that we get hit in, I'll be honest. Uh, this is a pretty tough room, and we don't have bombs. 
and we have low fire rate, which um, particularly against these enemies is very detrimental. Uh, I think also slowing them down is kind of a problem. Okay, we did manage to kill that guy in one fell swoop. Yeah, because we're going to have them sort of weirdly staggered now, which is not a good thing. I'm going to try and use orbital damage to kill... There you go. Just to kill the champion. This actually went way better than I expected it to, I'll be honest. That was uh, that was impressive how well that went just there. Okay, so rooms like this are problematic. I think it was only one pin, uh, one needle, should I say, so not so bad. Honestly, if we hadn't have started with... Um, what's it called here? the um, intruder, we'd be in such a bad spot right now. Like, it's not as if the intruder has completely cured all of our worries, but it is significantly improving our DPS output right now, which is currently not very good at all. Our ability to put out damage is pretty awful. Okay. Good stuff. Don't think we want to do the boss without Mega. Um... This room will give us Mega. Although I have to say I'm not a big fan of this room. Okay, just use the intruders to get that damage out there. Oh god, this is a rather gross looking room. If these guys shoot out pooters, this could be problematic for us. I think the flies are fine. Anything else, anything else I don't want to see it. <laughs> right. So, I think this is a bit of an awkward one, but I'm going to go mega into the boss and then careen myself to the other rooms. Unfortunately, this guy has a rather long death animation. we got perfection there, which is kind of obvious. We probably won't get too many more rooms out of this, but I've got to try. There you go. That was actually pretty useful. Okay, so we got an item in here, apparently. Thank God it gave us the path across, because the damage up there is huge for us. Damage up there is huge for us. This is probably secret room, so I'll check it. Indeed it is. Oh, there's an angry bird one. Oh my God. Uh, we'll probably take perfection. Not that we'll get to keep it for long, but I think we should take it. Uh, I'll check in here real quick. We don't have enough money for a shop right now, so that's not super high priority. Honestly, I'm I'm in the business of just making sure I don't get hit at the minute. Keeping Mega Blast for as long as humanly possible uh, is allowing us to clear floors very, very quickly. Um, so I think it's the best way. I don't actually know how uh, Perfection works, because when we get hit, it rerolls our trinket, and we also lose it when we get hit. So do we lose the trinket, or does it reroll first? Wow, my game crashed. One, one second. Right, we're back. Let's hope we can still continue our run. It probably, I just want to say, it's probably going to make us replay the floor, which is a real shame because we did pretty well on that floor. Now, if I get hit this time around, I'm going to be pretty sad. I think we need to play this a little differently this time. I think we can actually get through this entire floor a little bit better if we, um, if we take the time to do this differently. There's a lot of these dudes on this floor, which is upsetting. But we're doing okay against them. Yeah, I think if we take the time to play this a little differently, we can potentially do a lot better here. Ma mainly in the way that we use Mr. Mega. Not Mr. Mega, Mega Blast. Oh, we never saw that the other time around. Was that there last time? I don't know. Hmm. It's a good item. I'm going to check the shop here. Restock's interesting. Definitely, definitely. Restock is certainly interesting. Okay. So we know there's an item in there. Okay, it got us it got it for us this time as well. I'm really hoping it doesn't just crash again. We can actually maybe get this guy to, to reveal the secret room for us, uh, if we if we play this right. I don't want to spend too long doing this because we like we do have a bomb. Nah, it's, 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 it's possible, but it's just not plausible. Grab that. This should give us counterfeit penny again, right? Yes. Okay. So we, there's a few rooms here we de technically didn't get to play last time, because Mega Blast kind of cleared them for us, so we got to play these a little differently. But we should get Mega Blast... Oh, no. Uh, 
Oh, this is unfortunate. We're not going to get to use Mega Blast the way I quite wanted to, because we don't have enough rooms. We kind of are, just not, not quite. I was hoping to clear out the next two rooms with it, but we can only clear out the next one room with it. If we end up keeping it, that is. We could, we could still very well get hit before we did last time. But I think I've got a little bit of a plan this time to make it flow a little better. I think we we go into this room. We use Firestorm this time in this room. Makes this room significantly easier. And then we go... Boom, kill you again. We careen out of here. We do that. And we do that. We did we go into this room before as well? I think this is another room that we uh, mega blasted. Okay. Okay, that went reasonably well. Reasonably well. The only thing we're not going to get here is we're not going to be able to get... Um, we're not going to be able to get uh, the payout from the crane game. Which is kind of annoying. But also fine like now we just gotta hope it doesn't crash here so what i'm gonna do just to try and prevent a crash or at least uh, help ourselves is i'm gonna exit continue and that's gonna remember where we were so it's gonna mean we'd have to redo everything again but we'll see okay this time it didn't good oh wait no nope, nope we are uh, we are in a situation where we're completely stuck and the game's just gonna keep crashing I'm not sure what's causing it. I will try it again, but there's a good chance we're just stuck like this. Um, so I, I do apologize, and this is going to mean that we lose our streak, of, of course, as well. Um, which is probably the bigger, uh, the bigger F. But let's continue again. I'm going to try dropping our other... Tr I doubt it'll make any difference, but I'm going to try see if uh, dropping our trinket makes any difference. No, the next floor just won't load. Okay, we're unfortunately just... That run's dead. It's gone. I I hate this about modding. It's one of the worst things, especially when the game gives you literally no information on what causes the crash. You don't even know which one of your mods causes it. Uh, but we'll, we'll roll back another one on, uh, on Tainted Eden. Uh, give it a go. But that is a real shame for not only just a brilliant start, but also to lose the streak to something. Oh no, okay. Crashed again. Um, there's some significant issues with Tainted Eden, it seems. Significant issues with Tainted Eden. Be right back. Okay, I've managed to actually start a run in this time. I've started a kind of interesting one too. Ooh, a tears up. Sulfuric Acid is a great item to get, but also with the Quaker Oats tiers. Like, this thing just drops a bunch of rocks and they, they, they get our tier effects. So, we can use them to break rocks, although it looks like they don't actually fall on top of rocks themselves. That's kind of interesting, though. We've got a, a potentially quirky build here. I don't know how well it's going to do for us, but we'll see. Yeah, and we'll randomly get tiers dropping down like that. There's a secret room. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this as a reroll. I mean, our health isn't great, but we'll deal with that as it comes to it sort of thing. I like uh, I like this as a starting item, I've got to say. Ooh, if this, if this guy hits me, I'll actually cry. These enemies are so annoying. <laughs> we got them, though. We got them. I'll check for second secret room everywhere as well, just in case. This is definitely a room we want to use this in. Try not to destroy any pots until the room's over. Just because I don't want to spawn any more spiders than we have to fight. Right. Nothing there. I love Sulfuric Acid. It's such a good tier modifier. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. There's one penny from it so far. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's keep it going. I'm not exactly sure how the Oats thing works, you know, because it seemingly sometimes recharges automatically and sometimes doesn't. This is, of course, just kind of weird. Uh, Mongo Baby here is whatever. We'll take it. 
Okay. Let's keep her going. There's another pot here we should probably try and uh, take out. Spider. No thank you. No thank you, Mr. Spider. Right. Keep it going. This is definitely another room one in. Gotta be very, very careful to not get hit here. Just because we don't we can't really afford the damage. Are y'all kidding me? That is such a Okay, for one, can we just acknowledge that my character looks like an anime fucking character right now? Like, look at this dude. This dude looks like a straight-up anime character, like an anime villain right now. Uh, but, can we also acknowledge how bullshit that bit of damage was just then? Like, that dude fucking shot me through... Oh, this is... I am angry. I am very angry. That was such a bullshit room. Please, please, Ipecac people. Get that one on the redesign list. <laughs> that was not a fun room to come across in the slightest. I shouldn't have been hit by that yellow bladder dude. He shot me under the wall. And then it's just you can't get in there without getting hit. Hey. Can't contact damage me now, can you, bitch? What? Try to touch me now, boy. Yum. Ooh, there you go. Spawn extra bomb, we plant a bomb. That's not bad. But yeah, we're having a bit of a sad one here today. I'm not really going to count this as a loss on our streak, I'll be honest, because we shouldn't have had to die anyways. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's fair enough. We, we didn't really die because we shouldn't have had to end our run anyways. If I die on this run, then I count it, but that last one doesn't even count. And I start with such low HP, too, which is just kind of bullshit. Uh, where's that item room at? Ooh, I love using spin to win just to move faster. That hit- what? Why did that hit me? I was using spin to win! How do we get two items that are so similar back to back? Who the fuck are you? What's this? Right, one minute. I've got to, I've got to find out what the hell's going on here. Someone's the Stargazer Beggar can only be charged with Soul Hearts similar to Alabaster Box. Two Soul Hearts needed for a full charge. What the hell's a Stargazer Beggar? Doesn't give me any information whatsoever. What does he do? I can't give him money. Do I have to give him cards? Runes? I have no idea what this guy requires. Eh? I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. How am I meant to know? Oh, doesn't matter. It's gone. Oh, and it's gone again. Oh, but look, we got the, the Mars thing back. Goddamn, Tainted Eden is just an absolute bag of dicks, isn't he? It's just a pure bag of dicks. Right. So, yeah. I don't know what the Stargazer Beggar is meant to do. He seems feckin' useless right now. So I'm gonna bomb him. We got this map as our trinket. I'm just thoroughly angry. All future floors become XL when possible. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that seems awful. Cool trinket, though, but never going to use it. Yeah, I'm not- I'm, I'm really not a big fan of this, uh, of this planetarium item that gives you the little- the little rock things. It doesn't seem very good at all. Like, the falling rocks from that Quaker- from the Quaker item we had on the previous roll does a better job of killing stuff, and it adopts tier effects, and it doesn't take up a- it's a, like, it, it works passively and as an active, so it's just, it doesn't lower your stats or anything, so I just think it's, it's so much better. I'm not a big fan of the, uh, thingy version at all. Okay, this is just annoying. Just, just walk through my Akladama shit, shit spike. I kind of want him to hit me again, I'm not going to lie, because I'm not a big fan of our current permutation of items. Go down. 
God, I'm so upset that we lost the runs that we've lost so far. Oh my god, every single one of them was top tier. Every charge grants uh, extra damage on use Mama Mega Explosion, dealing 200 damage to everything in the room. Seems good. Seems very good. I see you there, Dormimic. I will bring a bomb back to you when I have one. See, now I, now I want to... Do you know what? I've got an idea. I've got I've got a, an inkling of an idea. C come back here, you. Ugh. Right, okay. Go back over here. Grab this. Go get some damage taken. Let's check what's in our item room first before we do that. Yep, do you know what? I'll reroll Ares as well. We roll all these bitches into nothing great. Um, well, Gold Flakes and PJs just straight up did nothing, so that's fun. Come on now, give us, give me something, give me something useful. Oh, uh, we got the Urts back. There you go. I like that. Uh, but that's an active item though, and we don't really want an active item at the minute. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep rolling. I want, I want, like, a good planetarium item. Um, uh, do you know what? This is decent enough. And it's soul, and soul isn't exactly great. But it's an active I definitely don't want. And I've got a few passives that I definitely do want. So let's try and not get hit in here. And maybe we can keep this permutation of this build. Potentially. We'll see. Still haven't got um, the best stats ever, but they're pretty decent. Bloodstone's nice too. Let's just agree this is an agreeable build. Um, oh damn, that's, that's good. I like it the harder. Good, good. I really like Lordstone as well. Lordstone plus Tractor Beam's working kind of nice together. Keeping everything in a line, but also getting some good hits out. We're getting damage up for our uh, for our little um, arm we've got here, bionic arm. Still no bomb. Unfortunately, I was hoping we could get a bomb to uh, to work with our little uh, door mimic, but seems like our fate was not meant to be this way today. Okay, we grab that. Again, I'll check this, because we could get something really good. Honestly, that is pretty good, but it's a lot of our HP, so I'm going to say no. Right. Can we keep this build going? Can it not crash between floors, too? That would also be very nice. Right, we need Lodestone here to keep us safe, really. That's kind of another reason that I uh, thought Lodestone would be a good choice. It just keeps us safe. And we have a lot of damage while we've got a bionic arm at full charge. Of course, we can use it from a Mama Mega explosion at any given time if we want to. I don't really think it's ever going to be the right choice unless we desperately need to get out of a sticky situation. Um, nah, we don't need either of those. I would like to take a trinket, but I'm not going to fight a room for it, I'll be honest. Keep on going. Okay, these enemies are like bona fide... Um, Bitches. Bonafide Eden re-rollers. Good, good. There's an eternal heart over there that we can't reach. Sadly enough. Ooh, a chest. A nice little chest for me. And our damage just keeps going up as well. I'm liking this harder item. It's good. Look at that, beautiful. A pill? We did take a tears up pill at the start of the run, so... Have I grown up? Have I grown up? Oh, yes. Have I grown up? These guys can shoot, so we don't really want to get too close to them. 
Where's our item room at? Okay, I don't want to use the Have I Grown Up on these guys. It'll be too dangerous. Have I Grown Up is a funny one. It does make the enemies a little bit too small. Like that fly, I can barely see that. <laughs> Makes them like so, like 1% like of the size they're meant to be. Nah, it's not quite that small, but it is still crazy how small they get. Okay, here's our item room. Vasculitis is actually a pretty good item. I like Vasculitis a lot. Do you know what? Yeah, this is th that that was a room that I could clearly see I was gonna hit. So why not? We lose some damage for a short amount of time, but we gain the ability to just crush all the mushrooms. Potentially find Mega Mush. We didn't, of course, but not me Mega Mush. Magic Mush. Sorry. But the potential was too good. There you go. Uh, I don't even know what hit me then. What the what the hell do we have now? What is going on right now? There's tears all over the place and they're so small. I don't really understand what's happening. How did I get hit there? Oh my god. What did I just do? Definitely take this. Do not want. <laughs> okay, all sorts of confusion on my behalf here. All sorts of confusion. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I want to know. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I tried. I promise I tried. Uh, where am I? How am I? I can barely see where the fuck I am. <laughs> Fucking... You got some reach, boy. You got some reach. Okay. I still want to reroll because we've got a really terrible planetarium item right now. I'm probably underrating this item hugely, by the way. I, I do completely realize that, but I'm just not a fan. And I'm kind of in the in the mode at the minute that I'm fine to just purposely hit myself because I want better items. And seemingly, I got it. I got uh, Luna, which isn't the best, but I got Lacrophagy plus this, which is intriguing. Oh, hello, sir. Right, what we got here? Solar Cane's good. Reverse Una. Moon card. Death card can be traded. We'll definitely just use that. You can have that too. And you can have that back again. And again. The D6. Noise. I don't know how this is going to work in this area, in this room. Is it going to take us back to that room or what? What on earth is this? Oh, what? You may pick up... This was all gross. I hated every- I hated every aspect about that. Every- every- Oh, and it crashed. Okay. Gungeon- Not Gungeon. Isaac is completely broken. I don't know what's going on, but apparently Tainted Eden just completely destroys the game. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.